Hi, I'm Jane, an also pharmacist specializing in fertility. I'm here to walk through injecting your fertility medications. We'll go through several steps together, so stay tuned. Always make sure your hands are washed and you're working on a clean, flat surface. Let's begin. Cetratide comes in a kit, and each kit contains the medication and injection supplies. For this injection, you will need one vial of cetratide powder, one pre-filled syringe of diluent, one 1.5 inch mixing needle that has a yellow wrapper, one 3 fourths inch subcutaneous injection needle that has a gray wrapper, a few alcohol swabs. You will also need a sharps container and gauze or tissue is optional. Before we get started, there are a couple of things I wanted to review with you. Examine your medication. Make sure the medication is not expired. Examine your vial and syringe to make sure there are no cracks. Check to see there's powder in the vial. Also make sure the solution in the syringe is clear and does not contain any floating particles. If you see anything, call your doctor or an alto pharmacist for next steps. Flip off the caps on the vial of powder and wipe the top with an alcohol pad. Remove the wrapping from the yellow mixing needle and remove the cap of the pre-filled syringe. Twist the yellow needle onto the syringe and remove the needle cap. Place the vial of powder on a flat surface and insert the needle straight through the center of the rubber stopper. Slowly inject the liquid into the vial of powder and gently swirl. If bubbles appear, wait a few moments for them to settle. Cetratide can take a few minutes to dissolve. Without removing the needle, invert the vial and pull back the plunger to withdraw the entire contents of the vial into the syringe. Whenever you're pulling liquid out of the vial, make sure the tip of the needle remains submerged in the liquid by slowly backing the needle out of the vial as you withdraw the solution. This will ensure you're drawing up the liquid and not the air inside of the vial. Flip the vial back and remove the syringe. Recap the syringe, remove the yellow mixing needle, and discard the needle and vial in the sharps container. The safest way to recap your needle is to lay the cap on your table and scoop up the cap with your needle like so. This will reduce the chances of a needle stick. Remove the wrapping from the gray injection needle and twist it onto the syringe. To remove any air bubbles, tap on the side of the syringe so the bubbles move to the top. Gently push on the plunger until you see a droplet come out of the tip of the needle. Once you see the droplet, you are ready for your subcutaneous injection. Today, I'll be showing you how to inject in the abdomen because it's the most common location for subcutaneous injection. However, you should check with your doctor or nurse before injecting to ensure you're injecting at the prescribed location. You should inject at or below the level of the belly button roughly one to two inches away from the navel. Try not to inject directly below the navel because that area is very vascular and can lead to bleeding and bruising. You should also rotate your injection sites to decrease discomfort. To prepare for your injection, clean the injection site with an alcohol pad and allow the area to air dry. Gently grasp a two inch fold of skin between your thumb and index finger at the injection site with your non-dominant hand. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand like a dart and insert the entire length of the needle into the pinched skin at a 90 degree angle. You can insert the needle at a 45 degree angle if you have less fat on your body. Move your index finger over to push down on the plunger in a slow and steady motion until all of the medication is injected. When you're done, release the pinched skin, hold it for a few seconds, and gently withdraw the needle. Lastly, Apply light pressure to the injection site with gauze or tissue if there's any discharge. Discard the used needle and syringe into the sharps container. There may be minor bleeding, bruising, or redness around the injection site. 
You might also see a drop of liquid come out of the injection site after you pull the needle out. All of this is common and should not be of any concern. Let's talk about storage. Cetratide requires refrigeration at all times, so do not leave it out at room temperature. Cetratide is also light sensitive, so store it in its original packaging to protect it from light. You're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, visit Alta.com to get in touch with an Alta pharmacist.